For a three or four players game, place the board in the middle of the table. For a two players game, fold the board and place the half board on the back between both players. Place the container next to the board. Shuffle the stock cards and place them in the cavity on the left. Reveal the first three cards. This is the market. The starting floors are determined by the floors shown at the bottom of each card. Place them wherever you want on the board. The only restriction is that two floors of the same color can never be adjacent. Two buildings are adjacent when there is a road linking them. For your first game, use the objective cards with an S on the bottom right corner. For subsequent games, take three cards at random from the 10 available. Place the objective tokens on the board according to the shape and color. For a three players game, one of the lowest value tokens is not used. For a two players game, use only the seven points token and one three points token. Place a board of the color of your choice in front of you. Take a set of vehicles and place each one on their dedicated line. Take the 10 roofs of the color of your board, as well as the cone, that you will use at the end of the game. Then, pick a floor of each color and place them in front of you. You're ready to start! On your turn, you choose one of two actions. Take a card or start a new building. Take a card from the market and discard it. Add the floors shown on it to your supply. Immediately replace the chosen card with the first card from the draw pile. Please note, you cannot have more than 10 floors in your supply. If you do, put the floors of your choice back into the container until you have only 10. If the card shows one vehicle, you must move this vehicle one step forward on its track. If the map shows two vehicles, you must move this vehicle forward two steps. A multicolored floor allows you to take a floor of the color of your choice. To start a building, take a floor from your supply and place it on an empty space on the board. There are two constraints. It must be adjacent to at least one other building. It cannot be adjacent to a building of the same color. You must then pay for your construction by adding a floor to each adjacent building. If there are several buildings, add a floor to each of them. Finally, you must place one of your roofs on one of the floors you have just put into play. This can be on the new building you founded or on one of the buildings you've just raised by pain. Once you've placed your roof, move the vehicle of the color of the building forward as many steps as the current height of the building. In this case, the white vehicle moves two steps because the white building is two floors high you are allowed to cover an existing roof. The same player can be present several times in the same building. Each time all your vehicles reach or pass a column of stars, you get to play an extra turn. Note that even if a move allows you to pass two columns of stars with a single move, it only gives you one extra turn. When you reach an objective, take the token with the highest value for that objective and place it on your board. To reach an objective, you need to be present in certain buildings and meet specific conditions. Being present does not necessarily mean having your roof on top of the building. Here, yellow and blue are present in a park. When a player places his last roof, he triggers the end of the game. He immediately counts the number of his roofs visible on the board. In this case, five. He takes his cone and places it on the corresponding position. The other players then have one last turn each, at the end of which they also count all their visible roofs at the top of the buildings. Then it's time for the final score. Add together the points for each of your vehicles, the cone and the bonus tokens. The richest player wins. In the event of a tie, the player with the most floors in his supply wins. If there is still a tie, players share the victory. To be present in each of the building colors. To be present in four parks. To be present in every district of the city. To be present in four lakes. 
to be present in five adjacent buildings, i.e. linked by roads. To be present in four brown buildings. To be present in three different buildings in one of the gray areas and in two buildings in the other gray area. To be present in two buildings on either side of a district border, twice. To be present on the first, second, third, and fourth floors. Note that being present in the same building twice is permitted. To be present twice in two different buildings. More details and reminders are available on the last page of the rulebook.